Hello everybody to this tutorial. He's Ahmad Nasser from Birzeit University and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to connect Java to MySQL using NetBeans. So you are welcome to my channel Stereo 007 and do, before we get started don't forget to subscribe and in this tutorial as you know we're going to talk about Java and MySQL and you, what you need in this tutorial is the WAM server we need the MySQL and PHP MyAdmin MySQL is the relational database that we got to use PHP MyAdmin is the tool that leads us to manage the MySQL database insert table, delete table, insert data, do all that stuff we need NetBeans you can use Eclipse but in this case I gotta use NetBeans and you need MySQL connector and you also need this tutorial as a guide for you to follow all the steps required to get the mission accomplished okay before if you need any help in installation of WAM server you can find it in my channel and down there you can see the link for that video teach you how to install WAM server and MySQL into your machine so first thing we're gonna use here we're gonna do is create a MySQL database so we're gonna make a database call it a school database and that school you know there's a lot of students so we gotta make a database for school and this school has a table for a student and this table has a lot of records for that students and for the user interface or the forms um, we're gonna make three forms one form is for uh, we gotta take the database fields and put it inside a table which is known as data data service form another form we're gonna use the data x object which is the uh, data access layer between the database and the user interface we're gonna use that which is known as data form view and the last thing we need an insert form to insert data into the database so we need data form insert so we need these three forms mainly and don't forget the start form that we're gonna start the work from that lead us to manipulate to one of each of these three forms uh, the first thing, as you know, we're going to create the database service form in NetBeans. Next, we're going to use the data X object to, to get all the data from the data from the database. And I think this is the best way because you're using a data access object for inserting, deleting, updating, and what else? creating yes mm, I don't know so this is pretty much for this tutorial don't forget to subscribe stir 07 at YouTube see you in the next video